don't forget to subscribe! Hi everybody, and welcome back to the Life Lights channel. I am the queen of the Life Lights, Natalie, and this is the epilogue, or the conclusion to Dragon Ball GT Blu-ray Remastered slash Redub for Funimation and Toei. So after six episodes about talking about the characters and English voice actors and what needs to be fixed, it's now time to say goodbye. On September 14th, I actually had a response from Funimation's email, and it says, Hi Natalie, thank you for contacting Funimation support. We appreciate your feedback and have made sure to send this to the appropriate department for consideration. Please let us know if you have any additional questions or concerns. Thank you, Funimation support. And with Dragon Ball's anniversary in 2021 coming up, now is the perfect time for Dragon Ball Classic and GT to be remastered on Blu-ray and redubbed for the ground up to be in more in line with the Japanese script. I want to thank Gabe Wambala, SSB and Anime Crossover, Sasha Fire and Mimi Freeman, and our newest member, Lila at the Team Pikachu Studios for helping me on this long journey. And the Funimation support team is in talks with the feedback staff about possibly redubbing Classic and GT for a Blu-ray anniversary release. And if that happens, then GT and Classic will be relevant and great once more. And I also hope that AT&T, Warner Media, Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, Toonami, and William Street will be put on, in, on Toonami Uncut. And I also wish Britney Smith and her Funimation editing team, Steve Franco, and and transferred the best of luck. And it's been a long journey, but we here at Team Pikachu Studios, from all of us, to Funimation and Toei, thank you for giving Dragon Ball the series it is today.